Welcome back. In the previous videos, we wrote the pseudocode for our file sync script, and we also wrote the code for it. The problem with this code is that it requires us to hard code the values of the source and destination folder, which is not necessarily practical if we want to run it from multiple places or synchronize multiple folders with the same script. So the way we do that is we add parameters. So the way a parameter is defined is like this, the keyword param with open and close parentheses. And what we do now is we would say, and by the way, this is valid. You can always leave that here. And this block also has to be at the very beginning of your code here. This counts as the beginning because all of this is comment and will be ignored. So let's do this. And so it's source folder, comma, and destination folder. So this will work. This is fine. The problem is we are also assuming that people will put the source and destination folder and will not just run it. We could obviously set if we need to, we could also set default values here to make sure that it will run even if you don't provide value, but that's not really a practical solution. We don't always know which folders we want to sync. So we will remove that. And instead, we'll use a few more things. So here you can put parameter parentheses mandatory whoop, equals true. So this will require the parameter that's below it or next to it to be filled out. Now, the problem is I can put any value there still. So I can even put an empty string or null and it still works because I provided it. So what we're going to do here too, is we're going to say validate not null or empty. Um, and so that will require it to be a value, right? But now the problem is I can also put numbers here. So we will say that what we want here is string. So we want this to be required. We want it to be not null or empty, and we want it to be a string. So now we have it. We have something that will more or less, um, that, that should work. So let's give it a shot. Let's do a new PowerShell window. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is going to be overridden. But let's see how it behaves. So if we run this, see without parameters, oh, it actually has issues because we didn't save it. Let's run it again. Here it says, see, you need a value. And let's press enter and see what happens. See, cannot validate parameter or argument. So further, the argument is null or empty. So there you go. If you provide nothing, it will error out. It will have a problem. So this is how you would do it. Now, that being said, one thing we need to check, especially in this script, is that the path is actually valid. So let's say if not test, sorry, test path, path, oops, I don't know what I did, but path and we say source folder and let's write an error message, write host, the source folder specified is invalid. 
source folder provided source folder all right and of course this is not a real error message but we'll do the trick for now and we'll do the same thing here for the destination destination and destination and of course we need to leave if this is incorrect and there we go so let's comment these two out we'll run this and let's put an invalid path c temp one right c temp and there we go so the folder specified is not valid now let's say what if we do these two so the way you would run it with actual valid um, parameters is the same way as a commandlet so you would specify like this destination folder and c temp my files destination and this should now work properly because everything is correct and let's go here source actually let some let's empty this and there we go so this is still working so this is the basics of parameters we'll definitely see a lot more of parameters later when we go into functions and advanced functions but for now this is good enough for our script so that's it for the script it is complete and it will be available in its entirety in the resources if you haven't written it as I did.